Welcome to AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. In today's show, my co-host Lee interviews Redshift product manager Raul Pathak. I get to interview Carl Vandenberg of Jaspersoft, providers of open source business intelligence software. Good to be here. Let's start at the beginning. Tell me a bit about Jaspersoft. So Jaspersoft, commercial open source business intelligence provider. Um, we uh, have about 200 uh, employees. Uh, based in San Francisco with offices around the world. And like any open source company, lots of big numbers, so uh, 16 million product downloads in the six years we've been in business uh, with about 18,000 customers. How does that mix of commercial and open source work for you? Yeah, it's a good question. How do you make money from open source? So there are different models out there. We subscribe to what we call the open core model. So the core server that we have is uh, free, uh, open source license and LGPL. And then we have a subscription to a commercial version, which gives you additional features. That's a primary driver of value, but also includes support and indemnification and um, uh, commercial licensing. Tell me a bit about what the concept of business intelligence, what's that all about? Yeah, business intelligence uh, goes by many names, reporting, analytics, dashboards kind of fall into this category of business intelligence. I mean, the fundamental idea is software that makes it easier for you to extract value from your data, so insights from your data, whether that be for a business uh, to better understand how to run and operate and improve the performance of your business, or as Jaspersoft is focused on, we're more focused on providing reporting and analytics to other application providers so they can build that capability into their application so their users get value from the data of the, that application. Tell me a bit about why it makes sense for you guys to be running on the AWS cloud. It is strategic for the company. And the reason is because a lot of our customers and our community being largely developer or technical audience are moving to the cloud. and so. For us, it was fairly natural. We were being brought there by customers. A lot of our customers were deploying our software um, on AWS. And so we started investigating how we enter into more sort of closer relationship with, with Amazon around what you're doing with uh, AWS. If I remember right, you guys were one of the early adopters of Redshift. How's that been working out for you? Really well. Our customers love it. Uh, our, our offering on Marketplace, so we, we, we basically took our commercial server uh, we made it available on Marketplace about five months ago. And uh, we did something very new for the BI industry, which is we started selling our software by the air, taking the lead from AWS. And that's the first time really it's been done in the BI space. And so that combination of Jaspersoft on the front end to provide the visualizations, the dashboards, the reporting, and then Redshift on the back end with a similar pricing model has made it very, very price competitive in the market. So you can get a full stack data warehousing solution for you know cents on the dollar. Let's say I've got a bunch of data in Redshift, I got a petabyte or so data in Redshift, yeah. and I'm like, wow, business intelligence, that's a cool new thing, yeah. I want to get started. How easy do you guys make it? Super easy. I mean, that's part of the value proposition. I said the pricing model alignment is a big deal because I said, you're buying it by the hour, you're buying Redshift by the hour, it fits really well. Uh, and with the marketplace offering, we become just a line item on your AWS build. So that's really, really great. But we've also focused a lot on backend integration. And so you can literally go from purchasing on Marketplace to analyzing data in Redshift in nine minutes. We timed it. And um, part of the work that we did with the AWS team was that backend integration. So we use CloudFormation templates, basically, to set up the security roles. We use your IM, uh, your identity and access management system. And that means we automatically go out and introspect your AWS account and find any RDS or Redshift data sources you have, and we connect to them. I really appreciate you taking the time to come by and speak with us and uh, wish you only great things in the future. Great. Thanks, Jeff. It's been my pleasure. I'm Lee Zen with the AWS Report, and I'm joined today by Roel Patlick of Amazon Redshift, and he'll be talking to us about how Redshift is doing. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Jeff was chatting with uh, Carl Vandenberg of Jaspersoft, and I, I, right. I take it that they're, they're partners with you guys? Yes, they uh, were an early launch partner of ours, providing their BI solution for use with Redshift. Great, and you know, Redshift launched just a few months ago. Right. What's, what's, the, what's the adoption been like? What are customers saying? Uh, so Redshift is AWS's fastest growing service, so adoption's really been great. And we've uh, we announced over 1,000 customers 10 weeks after launch, and we're adding wow. over 100 a week. So we're pleased with how it's going. What's been the most exciting use case you've seen with Redshift? 
So we've seen a ton of customers adopting Redshift. And uh, for example, Nokia is using it to analyze browser traffic they're generating on their feature phones. Accordant Media is using it for real-time ad bidding. We've got has offers doing mobile app optimization. And really what we've seen is enterprises using Redshift for traditional data warehousing, but also new customers with big data, as well as SaaS companies trying to embed data warehousing uh, at low cost but high performance into their applications. Very cool, very cool. Well, that's super exciting, and thanks for updating us. That's my Redshift. pleasure. Thanks for watching AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. You can follow me on Twitter or read the AWS blog.